Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, if you find the content that I make useful and you would like to support my channel, please take a look in the video description below with ways you can help my channel. Now this video is about the Radio Master TX12 Mark II that has been released, this one here. Let me show you it. There has been an ergonomic design on the back, but other than that, the switches and everything the same. We've got one, two, three, four, three position switches, uh, two momentary ones, which are there, that one and that one. And we've got the sliders at the side. Now, there's a big improvement on the, the uh, S switches, the slider ones. The indent is absolutely brilliant. It's probably the best that I've ever felt on a, on, on a radio. You actually can positively center the switches, so they've definitely improved those. The new TX12, it, as I've looked at the website, only comes with Express LRS, so that's now built in. We've got a built-in module. They've done updates to the main board design, and it's got a new uh, M MCU, which is an STM32F407. Like most of us, we won't understand what that means, but they've obviously updated it. They've also updated the charging system on here. Now it is QC version three charging, which is done through the hatch at the bottom. And you can see that I've got uh, two batteries, the battery case in there. But as you can see, there's one thing, it wobbles a bit, makes a bit of a noise. So I would, what I would do is get some foam and that will be simple fix. Just put some foam inside there to stop that doing it. Now, the gimbals. Now, with in here we've got in precision hall effect gimbals as standard. Now, I've used the AGO ones in both the TX16S and the Zuro, and these feel very good, very positive. Uh, I've got no, no complaints about these at all. They also include, with the Mark II version of the TX12, an SD card. They didn't include that in the first version. And that caused uh, people, uh, I've had lots of questions um, in my videos asking me why their model uh, models, when they make a model, they couldn't choose what type of model they wanted to make. Uh, but, but that was because they didn't have an ST card in there. But now, anyway, this radio is actually being shipped with um, Edge TX and, and actually says on the front, you can see it says Edge TX and Express LRS. So you do get a, an SD card in, in this radio. With the TX12, you also get a, a stopper there. I'm going to show you that. And that's just that can go in top of the um, where the antenna comes out when you unscrew your antenna. Just make sure that before you power up your radio, you, you put the antenna onto your, your TX12. And it also comes with a USB C cable so that you can charge it and, pro and program it into your uh, plug it into your computer. We still do have a JR bay at the back, so we could put a crossfire module or uh, any other module that we wanted to in the back of the radio, which is 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 quite nice because I think a lot of people would still have free sky stuff and they might want to buy this and then put a, a multi protocol module into the back of here. So you do have that option now. Also with this radio. Radio Master me sent me some goodies. Let me get the box out. I'm going to go through these quickly with you. We've got um, a strap cover. Now, I generally speak and don't use a strap on my radios, but you can see I'm going to try and show you this. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There you go. You can see this. So this folds over around your strap to make it to make it softer when it's around your neck. OK, let's have a look what else we've got in here. And there is a new strap. Let's take this strap out and have a look at it. All of these items are available on the Radio Master website. You can see we've got a nice, I'm not sure if that's leather, it's probably not, but a nice strap there, a lanyard for your radio. So generally speaking, I don't use those. Now with there, I also got, they also sent me some receivers. Now, I've got the RP1 and the RP2. Uh, let me go, let me just show you these. You can't really see them, but they're inside the packets. 
They sent me both of, both of these. Now, there are some adjustments they've made to this. I'm just going to check my notes on both of these. What they've done, they've improved the PC, PCB design. It's better for heat uh, dissipation. Uh, they've upgraded the rigid antenna with greater durability and performance. Uh, they put an LED on the top side of the PCB. Obviously, that will help you to do with programming. And the, the solder pads are improved and easier to, to solder. And yeah, they do look a little bit bigger. I haven't checked. They do look slightly bigger than the, the previous ones. So now you can get those. Now, also with the accessories, these are quite cute, these. Now, let me show you these, see if I can get it to focus. And you can see there's letters printed onto them. So you've got trainer, gear, and timer. So you can put these onto your switches on your radio, and it will actually say what that switch does, which is, I think, is quite a neat little idea. Customize your radio. And there's smaller ones. Let me show you both those. The smaller ones and there are bigger ones. Obviously, some are for the uh, Zero and some are for the TX16S. Now, the final thing that, that, that Radio Master sent me are these here. These are these are quite neat. Now, these are switches. If I just grab my TX16, you can see on the this is the Mark II. If we take a look here, you see there's a plug. Now we can take that plug out. Uh, now you can see there's a hole there. And what we can do is put one of these switches in there. Now I've had a quick look at how you put these, install these switches. It seems to be there is a plug that you plug this straight into. But this is quite neat. Um, please let me know in the, in the video description below if you'd like me to do a video on how to install this. It looks pretty simple. You just take the back of the radio off, screw this into the back of the radio and then plug it in. But if you'd like a video, I will do that for you. This one, this one is a momentary switch. Let me see if I can get it to focus that. You see, it's just a momentary switch. And the other one, that's what I like about Radio Master. They, you know, they're not just leaving it once they've d d designed something. They're making other things for it so that you can ch uh, change the radio, which I think is quite neat. And this one, this black one, you've got to focus there for me. Yeah, there we go. And that is an on-off switch, as you can, hopefully you can hear this. So these are two, I think, two quite not neat additions. So you can see where it's positioned on your radio. So if I'm flying like this, I could use my little finger to act, act, activate that switch there. Um, like the bomb drop that I did, I could, I could have used that button to uh, operate the servo to let the bomb drop. Uh, you could use it for arming or, or whatever you like, but I think that's quite a nice, quite a nice touch, those two items there. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.